Hi, I'm Earl Christie. And I'm Dawn Michelle Morris. And welcome to Talking About Christ.com. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I tell you, you're on cue. <sighs> but, but, but before I start the day, well, of course, we're going to talk about charity and we're going to really break it down. It's always a pleasure to be talking about Christ because Christ is in everything that we do in our lives, our mm. talent, everything that we ever do. It all yeah. comes from him, his talent, your gifts, all those things. But I want to just do a little business right now, and I want to talk about a great, great organization, a great restaurant, and I, I think you heard of the name Casper McDonald's. They, they have over 60-some stores in the state of Florida, and, and one of the stores of the week, we have two every week, is 610. No, we're going to go to the one that's this week is... 11, 11310 Beach Boulevard, and that's in Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, and the uh, er, uh, zip code is um, 32246. The number address again is 11310 Beach Boulevard, and that's in Jacksonville, Florida. It must be nice there, I mean, you know, when you think about beach, Florida's definitely known for that. 32246, and that's the zip. And the other address in Jacksonville, Ooh, two of them this week in Jacksonville, and that's 7359-103 Street, 3rd Street, and that's in Jacksonville, Florida, and the zip is 32210. The address again is 7359-103rd Street, and that's in Jacksonville, Florida. The zip code is 32210. Okay, with that being Let said, me. so we're going to start off with the first letter. What's that first letter? Help me out. I believe it's a C. The big C. <laughs> For Christ. All right, now, it doesn't get any better. And, and we're going to go to Romans, one of my favorite books. I have so many favorite books, but Romans it just seems to be an outstanding book for me. And I'd like to read this first. Romans, the third chapter, 22nd verse. Reads thus. We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. Now, you know the major thing in there, first of all, you talk about believers. And that starts with him, believing in Christ. Then we got that great magic word, faith. And I'm going to start off with faith in that, that, that um, nice scripture. You know... You know, old saying goes, I do not walk by sight, I walk by faith. And I am so grateful to have the opportunity to walk by faith because that's where everything starts. You gotta believe in God, mm -hmm. you gotta trust Him. And you know, being from your church, uh, Don, I, I, <laughs> you know, from the great, great church that you're from, and that's the New Life Purpose Center, and you guys definitely teach that principle because I know. Because y'all even have a what we call a uh, thing for kids there. You have a school for kids, right? Basically, a, a yeah, care we, center. We have a preschool there. Oh, yeah, okay. we're practically full again, which is a good thing. We've got about 60, 60 or so students in the preschool alone. We do eight weeks through through VPK. Hey, you know, you know, uh, me being a former teacher, I taught the young ones from three years old and up, and I used to laugh to myself because the other kids would see me. And they said, oh, what a nice man working with these little kids. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get a kick out of that. Yeah. But when you think about that big C, you think about Christ, and, and, and we can't thank God enough for giving us the opportunity to honor him. What a joy even to mention his name. Okay, and we go to another one. We, we got to do a double take on this because we got Romans 6.23, and it re reads like this. For the wages of sins is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life to Christ Jesus our Lord. That is so important. Mm -hmm. Our eternal life is, is really through Jesus Christ. And that takes faith to believe that, too. You know, I love when my husband preaches on faith. I love it when he says um, he'll give a definition that faith is the proof of, well, my definition of it is now, faith is the solid ground of my expectation and the proof of unseen actuality. I mean, think about that. Is That's, that awesome? I mean, that is just like solid ground. That is, you can, 
You can take it to the bank. Man, I, I love I, it. <laughs> no, I mean, it, and I, I mean that's heavier. You know, uh, a pastor, your your husband's awesome pastor, uh, Pastor Glenn Morris. Uh, what what an awesome man of God, and that's what's so important. If you're a leader and you're called to be a leader in your church, you got to live it. You got to act it each and every day. And people, mm -hmm. people, a lot of times, people just watch what you do, and especially young people. And that's so important. And you see a church that's growing and doing well, they have young people that's building from it. And that's a key factor in all that we do. Mm -hmm. I, I, in fact, I think about my grandmother. I mean, she had me in church since I was a baby, and it was just so amazing. I, I can't thank her enough because she really gave me a good foundation because, you know, sometimes I work with young people, coaching and what have you, and then some of them mm -hmm. said they'd never been to church. I mean, it just blows my mind when I think that somebody didn't grow up in the church. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like taking that for granted. Like, that really? that's yeah. <laughs> You know, that's a natural thing. But... Um, God bless. I, I, I just, it's just so awesome that you can share this with people. The big H, and one of my favorite words, honor. honor. And that's in Psalms, which is another great cha chapter, great book in the Bible. The 29th chapter, first verse. Honor the Lord, you, <clears throat> excuse me, honor your Lord, you heavenly beings. Honor the Lord, for his glory is strength. Boy, it doesn't get any better. Mm -hmm. Man, when you do honor me, God is so awesome. He loves us. And it, it's reciprocated back to us when you got God in your life. I'm going to go down to the next one. Yeah. Abundant. And he's definitely abundant. And that's in Mark 10, 23. Jesus looked around and said to his disciple, How hard is it for the rich to enter the kingdom of God? Now, you can just elaborate a little bit on that. <laughs> Abundance. Oh, now this, when, it, when you said that, made me think of something I've said to our daughter. She's 26 now. Okay. That she'll start saying, you know, what about this or what about that or whatever. And I'm like, really? And she goes, well, Mom, you always taught me. You have not because you asked not. <laughs> and, and, and that's a true <laughs> and statement. And it's true. It's true. I mean, ab abundance is just when people say you're blessed. And I go, you know what? I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out and everything I touch prospers. I mean, I challenge people sometimes. I'm like, say that. Think about it. How are you? People are like, well, I don't know if I want to say how I really am. So, well, then make a faith statement. <laughs> I, I, I am blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. And everything I touch prospers. And you would not believe how many people you find out from the get-go, they're believers or they're not. Or they'll go, touch me, touch me. I'm like, in Jesus' name, <laughs> be blessed. And then you get to pray for them. <laughs> and you know, when you Abundantly. think Abundantly. <laughs> exactly. And you're blessed. You woke up this morning. We exactly. take for granted the breath that we breathe. That comes from God. I mean, we should be thankful. Yeah. And it's, it's just amazing. And we take things for granted. Okay, Reality. In Deuteronomy, 8th chapter, 3rd verse. Yes, he humbled you by letting you go hungry and then feeding you with manna, a food previous, previously unknown to you and your ancestor. He did it to teach you that people do not live by bread alone, but rather we live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I love this word in here, humble, because I found out as I continue to grow in Christ, when you humble yourself, when you humble yourself, Don, you'll get a closer, you get closer to God, you build a better relationship. And the H to me always also stands for hope. Because, I mean, hope deferred make the heart sick, but desire fulfilled is the main, is the main spring, spring of life. And a lot of people, it's like hope. I actually, I do a lot of graphic artist work, and then all of a sudden I just got this picture just now that I made something for somebody, and, and it was like hope, and I just got this picture. Uh -huh. Hope is an anchor to your soul. My Lord. I mean, just think, so I, I designed it, an anchor, and I put H-O-P-E, and I put the anchor of your soul. I mean, it's just... When you don't have soap, you, I hope you're in trouble. You're in trouble when you don't have hope. Insight. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6.21. Wherever treasure is, the desires of your heart will also be. It tells a person when they're hard. And mm -hmm. then I, I, I want to go to time. Time is important. When you talk about Psalm 62, oh, my 
people, trust in him all times mm -hmm. and pour out your heart to him. For God is our refuge in our interlude. Mm -hmm. And then, boy, you, you just, I mean, God is our provider. As we always say, he'll never leave us or forsake us. And that's a key factor. And the last one, the big Y in charity, yield. And I can remember, until I fully yield unto thee, I shall not know the comfort of thy spirit. Yeah. That is awesome. So we're going to go to a station break right there. And we, but we got a little bit more time then. Guess what? I got a scripture here, James 3.17. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is all peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the first fruits of the deed. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. I'm telling you. And when you minister to God, when you talk to God, you need to be sincere when you talk to him, not just uttering words. You know, when you come to him, you come with sincerity and really have the great meaning. And that's what it's all about. And I'm, I'm just so grateful God gives us that. And we're going to go to a station break right now, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 U.S. Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364. 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate. At Complete Care Systems, we don't cut corners, we clean them. Hello, my name is Bob Canigliaro, VP Community Relations for Casper's Company McDonald's. In 64 locations throughout Florida, we deliver great experiences and clean, beautiful restaurants. Our purpose is to serve and to generate happiness in every circle of influence of our business. This includes employee development and a community engagement with a high priority on education. Our service raises the quality of life for all of us. So the next time you visit our McDonald's, in addition to a great meal, you're helping us serve our community one smile at a time. Hi, I'm Bruce Kaufman, CEO of Sunrose, the Bible educational game company and game creator of Heroes and Sheroes. Heroes and Sheroes is a fun game about the history changing men and women of the Bible. Each colorful card is a different one of God's heroes and sheroes with information about that person. Play 33 different fun games with the Heroes and Sheroes card deck. Heroes and Sheroes is the most fun way to learn about the most important men and women of the Bible, God's heroes and sheroes. Visit our website, sunrosegames.com, and order your Heroes and Sheroes game now. We're back. 
Don, man, you, I'm telling you, I left you on left field that time. That's all right. Now, you, and we're you're getting, talking about Christ.com. Yeah, 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 well, well see, see, you recovered really good. I'll tell I tell you, you, you help me out. I, I just want to do a nice mention of a great restaurant, and that's Casper McDonald's. And they have the store of the week. And if they have two stores of the week, and those stores just happen to be in Jacksonville, Florida. And the address is 11310 Beach Boulevard, Jacksonville, Florida, 32246. And the other location is 7359, 103rd Street in Jacksonville, Florida, 32210. Of course, I always think about the Jackson, you know, Ville, the great football team, because they had a shot last year at the football uh, <laughs> Super Bowl. But anyhow... 7359 103rd Street and Jacksonville, Florida. And my next guest always tells me, Earl, you got to tell them that Earl Christie sent you. So That's right. the zip is 322. And with that, I have that lovely couple, and he's no strange to our show. And that's Dr. Bruce Kaufman right. and Carolyn. Kaufman in the house with Sun Rose Games. Right. I'm telling you. Well, welcome Hi. as always, Uncle Brucey, f affectionately known, right? Right. Am I right. sure about that? So, Uncle Brucey, you tell me what has been going on lately with these beautiful games and parties and all those type of things. Well, we are having a party uh, this Friday night at the State Farm Office, uh, Dave Cosper's State Farm Office in Dunedin, Florida. It's 1164 Belcher Road yeah, in Dunedin good. at 6 o'clock from 6 to 9. Okay. We're going to be there in um, his Good Neighbor Cafe, and it's a beautiful community room. Uh, we're going to have uh, pop, popcorn, and pepperoni pizza. Well, see, you just, uh, you, you, am I invited? You're invited. Oh, yes. okay. I was what waiting for that. you? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Oh, okay. I think, and, you know, and I think we can we, we would like for people to come and play Sunrose Bible Games, and we always have a lot of fun. Earl, you were at one at the Christ-like Fellowship uh, last month. Thank you, and thank you. we had a ball. We had a lot of fun. And, um, you what know, ages? We, oh, um, families we, and kids, yes, folks? Well, it's family a family area. outing. Uh, it's good for senior citizens. I suggest you bring somebody with you so that you can be sitting at a table fellowshipping, playing a game with people you already love, learning about the Bible. You know, the neat That's thing great. about Sunrose Bible Games, Earl, okay. is that most games that are Bible games, or what are called Bible games, are knockoffs of secular games, and you have to know the Bible. It's trivia. You know, you have to know the Bible in order to play the game and have fun and win. Right, and you don't want to play with Bruce if you want Come to win. Come on. Well, <laughs> what, what most trying? games. Uh, why? Is that good or, or, or he kind of well, throws but, a curveball in the but, game? I will but. lose to Bruce every time if it's a trivia Bible oh, game. Oh, well, I ain't yeah, even right. going to even try but, it. Yeah. But the beauty of Sunrose Games, the ideas that God gave me and my brother Donald, who's pastor over in Kissimmee year, 30 years ago, right. were games that you could play and have fun without knowing the Bible, but while you're playing the game you and having fun, it. you're learning the Bible. That's awesome. And so... People who didn't consider themselves to be Bible scholars, they could win the game, you know, and they could have fun ha playing the game even if they lose. And the neat part about it is in most games you're, being, you're trying to be competitive, so you don't want to help anybody else. You want to just kind of sort of play to yourself and hold the cards to your chest. <laughs> it's amazing with Sunrose games, people are helping each other win. And, and it's like... Well, wait a minute. Right. That's helping them, but it's not helping you. They don't care. They just, hey, let me but help that you. ain't cheating. But that, but that's what Jesus did. You know, <laughs> okay, Jesus amen. came and helped us win. <laughs> okay. You know? well, and and so makes a dream work. <laughs> and, and so one of you know the the neat part about it is, uh, you know, I grew up playing games and you know like Monopoly and Rook and you know Parker Brothers type games. You know, my brother Donald and I created these games with ideas God gave us. Amen. You know, and we. We were tossing around the idea, well, what do we call the company? You know, uh, we could call it Kaufman Brothers, you know, kind of like Parker Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going, I'm going like, yeah, but you know, it's not about us. We're no. talking about Christ. We're talking about God. We're talking about the Bible. And so 
we started thinking about what we should call the company, and we realized that, you know, 1 Thessalonians 4.14, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus was being talked about, and Paul says, we believe that Jesus, God's Son, rose from the dead, and we believe we have eternal life in Him. And so that was all it was about, was the Son rose. Jesus, the Son, rose from the dead. Amen. And that's our hope. Oh, and, and you, you know, better believe it. It's, so we named the company Sunrose. And uh, it's, it's kind of uh, interesting that uh, over the years we've kind of developed the, we had the logo, the logo is a kind of a stained glass window that's sort of churchy, you know, I like it. What would you say, churchy? It's churchy. I, I, I see on there Uncle Brucey, you got to tell me that too now. That, well, that, that uh, on, on the shirt we've got the logo. Right. And it's uh, a stained glass window, a round window, mm -hmm. and it's got the sun because Jesus is the light of the world. Amen. And it's a play on S-U-N and S-O-N. And then he came and showed us his love by dying on the cross to pay the price oh, yeah. for our sins, and so we have the cross. But they buried him, but he rose again on the third day, and he's called the Rose of Sharon as well. So we're doing a play on the word of rose, R-O-S-E, and so we have a rose winding around the cross to symbolize that Jesus rose from the dead. He gives us new life. And so it, it's kind of fun as we talk to people and they kind of mispronounce it and they want to say sunrise and they want to <laughs> say, <laughs> you know, but, but, it, but the neat part about it, it gives us an, a door opening. And most of us aren't, you know, we're kind of uncomfortable testifying, talking to people, you know, but if you've got a door opener, right? people talk about it all the time and they're willing to open. So, so I'm kind of Uncle Bruce, you know, and my favorite color is purple. And the reason I like purple is because that's God's color. Royalty. He's the king of kings. <laughs> he, so he's the most royal of all royalty. And purple is the most royal of all royal colors. And so when people say, why are you always wearing purple? Why do you always talk about purple? Why is purple your favorite color? It gives me an excuse to say, well, that's because I'm wearing the team colors. Team colors, you know. <laughs> you know. Well, God's the King of Kings. And he's my Lord and He's my Savior. He's my Redeemer. And it gives me a chance to witness to them. And it's just natural. And, you know, and like you said in the previous segment, mm -hmm. you know, it gives you a chance to talk to people and bless them and pray for them. People will say, oh, yeah, I go to church. Oh, yeah, I love Jesus. And you, Well, let me pray for you. Let me give you some word of encouragement. That's what life is all about is encouragement. You That's know? what we're here for. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're, we're, we're here to encourage each other as we take that journey toward eternity, toward heaven. And uh, so we can come up with some games that help families okay. spend time together around the table. Friends spend time together around the table. You get to know each other when you're communicating, like we're talking. So, so we how, talk, do, right? how do people get them? Do you have a website well, yeah. mm -hmm. they can order it from? So tell sure. Well, so let's, let's uh, www.sunrosegames.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you can order them off of the website. Or we have a supply even here at the studio. We've left some games here. Uh, we sell them without shipping and handling if you come to our, our Sunrose game party. Uh, this one is on Friday night, uh, September 21st at 6 o'clock. And just that's the one in Dunedin? And that's yes. the one in Dunedin. Okay. And it's just the coolest place because you feel like you walked into a 50s cafe. <laughs> and uh, there's co old Coke signs and just wonderful. You guys weren't even around. I mean, yeah. y'all you know, trying to tell me. I was around during the yeah, 50s. Yeah, you were. So I can relate to that. Right now. at home. <laughs> oh, right. Me too. Oh, no. You, come <laughs> on. Hey. Well, I saw Fonzie on the happy days, so you know, it's like that. <laughs> well, you know, the, the fun part about it is it's, it's a small environment, so we have like 30 seats. So right. we need people to. RSVP or call us up, and uh, we've got uh, the television ha screen has our TV number, our, our calling number, telephone yeah. number. Yeah. Um, but don't don't not come. Uh, you know, come and enjoy it. And the other thing is, you can schedule a game party at your church, mm -hmm. in your home. Um, if you've got, say, a clubhouse in the 
subdivision that you live in, mm -hmm. schedule a game party in the in the subdivision clubhouse. Mm -hmm. You know, this comes from, you know, I'm very blessed to be a former school teacher, and I found out if you make learning fun, fun. the yeah. kids are learning. And I'll just give you a point in case mm -hmm. one of the things, I had the good fortune of teaching math tutoring. So I would divide the kids up into different teams, okay? Right. Mm -hmm. They love competition, yes. good, honest competition that no, put no pressure on them. And I had different teams, and I like multiplication. And I would have them saying six times, six, 36, you know, who would say it first, get a score, and, mm -hmm. and things like that. And they were just having so much fun. Right. In fact, I was a physical education teacher. They were enjoying you know, the tutoring more than the PE class. I said, really? wait a minute, what's wrong with this picture? But it, it's all about, and you as a person, and Bruce, I, I've seen you working, and you guys working. You all make it fun just the way you guys are excited about it. Right. And that's the key factor. And they enjoy when we go to church. Right. I love going to church. Right. It's right. fun seeing people fellowshipping, right? Right. <laughs> so, you know, and the neat part about it is as you develop those relationships, as you get comfortable with something, mm -hmm. uh, you use it more often yes. and it means more to you. And one of the problems that we have today is that the Bible is sort of oppressive to some people. A and I say that gingerly, but it, you think about it, the Bible is more than one book. It's 66 books in one. And some of the books are one chapter long, and some of the books are 150 oh. chapters long. And uh, where do I go to find the Gospel of John? Is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? And uh, well, is Isaiah a prophetic book, or is it a historical book, or is it an epistle? Or, uh, you know, and you don't, people don't feel comfortable with this these concepts. So the first game that we developed was help. It's a game about the books of the Bible. And so each book has its own cards. So there's 66 cards. And on each card, we have the information about who the author, the human author was, right. how many chapters it has, That's and great. where it's located in the Bible. And so as we take a look at this card, people can see the information so while they're playing a card game that they might not be using all this information they're sitting there with their cards and they're going oh hey guys did you know that Genesis was written by Moses and somebody goes oh well I got a book written by Moses too it's Numbers or Exodus or Deuteronomy and pretty soon they realize that they know more than they thought they knew and they're more comfortable and more confident with their Bible because now they know that Genesis is the first book of the Bible. And somebody will go, well, hey, um, man, I got all these books written by Moses. And so you can play a Bible author's game by simply getting all the other players to give you the Ten Commandment card, the cards that have this picture of the Ten Commandments on it. So we've divided the books up by author groups. And so all the books written by the Apostle John have a lamb on it because he wrote about Jesus as the Lamb of God and Jesus was a good shepherd and so the, all those books have that theme and so the cards written by the Apostle John have the sheep on them so you can play Bible authors you know so when I was growing up there are seven of us kids okay. I'm number two of the seven and so we would play games and mom and dad encouraged us to play games and we would fellowship together and have fun together and uh, a lot of times nowadays everybody's on their electronic Game Boy and nobody's communicating with anybody else and mm -hmm. sometimes we wonder whether or not the games they're playing are really good and now they're talking about uh, addictions to video games. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, mm -hmm. I, I really don't think anybody's going to get addicted to a Sunrose Bible game, but it sure would be a whole lot better if they did. Thank you. I was getting ready to say, yeah, uh, you know, uh, of course we all get ready to go to a, a break, but what I, I love about this, like you said, one thing is fun. And man, when you can learn and have fun and say it over and over, and that's what it's all about. And that's the key factor because a lot of times people are intimidated. But everybody's a winner in this, even right. if you don't actually win the game per se. And like you say, you don't need to be a scholar, and that's the beautiful part about it. That's right. what I love about it. And, uh, and it says help, and I sure definitely need help when it comes to this, but I, I just love what help stands for. We're going to go to a station break, and we're going to be right back. Stay with us.
Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate. At Complete Care Systems, we don't cut corners, we clean them. Hello, my name is Bob Canigliaro, VP Community Relations for Casper's company McDonald's. In 64 locations throughout Florida, we deliver great experiences and clean, beautiful restaurants. Our purpose is to serve and to generate happiness in every circle of influence of our business. This includes employee development and a community engagement with a high priority on education. Our service raises the quality of life for all of us. So the next time you visit our McDonald's, in addition to a great meal, you're helping us serve our community one smile at a time. Hi, I'm Bruce Kaufman, CEO of Sunrose, the Bible educational game company and game creator of Heroes and Sheroes. Heroes and Sheroes is a fun game about the history changing men and women of the Bible. Each colorful card is a different one of God's heroes and sheroes with information about that person. Play 33 different fun games with the Heroes and Sheroes card deck. Heroes and Sheroes is the most fun way to learn about the most important men and women of the Bible, God's heroes and sheroes. Visit our website, sunrosegames.com, and order your Heroes and Sheroes game now. Put it back. You slow again, but that's all right. Come okay. on, you gotta tell them. What is this show anyway? Okay, talkingaboutchrist.com. Oh, you got it. Oh, man. You got it. I've been around <laughs> You're here. Covered. Okay, Uncle Brucey and Miss Carolyn. <laughs> tell okay, us how so, to... so this is that Carol's favorite game. Okay. Okay. And she likes it because she can play with the little kids and they enjoy the animal pictures on these cards. This is Garden of Eden. Okay. And so God created Adam and Eve and put them in the garden and told them to name the animals. And so we have animals. There are four suits. So there's the wild animals, the farm animals, the birds, and the insects. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. in the garden, God would walk with Adam and Eve in the cool of the evening and fellowship with them. And so we have a Lord God card and the Sun Rose card, which represents Jesus. And so they're hidden in the garden as well. And the idea is you turn two cards over and if you match the animals, you get to take them off of the game board and okay. score them at the end of the game. The animals are worth one point each. Adam and Eve are a pair, and there were two points each because they're special. God breathed into them the breath of life, and they became living beings. Okay. And they had to do all the work. Right, for okay. sure. And um, the Lord God cards, there's no match for our God. Amen. But God is three and one. So instead of two picks, if you pick a Lord God card or the Sun Rose card, you get a third pick. Okay, if you get a matching set of animals, you get to take the God card as well, and the God cards were three points. Okay, 
there is one card in here that you don't want to get. That's, oh, that's the bad guy. That, is that the serpent? That's yeah. the serpent. <laughs> yeah. I can't stand uh, it. Now, <laughs> if you don't match the animals when you pick a god card, or if you get the serpent card, which ends your turn, uh -huh. everybody else at the table has to close their eyes, and you hide the god card or the serpent card in the garden by switching it out with another card. Oh, okay. okay? So, oh. Earl, this is your show. Let's start with you. Pick, pick two. two cards. Oh, okay. I'm going to go... Mm -hmm. Now He's I got to turn him over. Are we supposed to look at him? Yes. He's, and he has a what do you have? raven card. And a lion. Raven and a lion. And lion. No okay. match. Turn remember, him back over again. Remember where they are? Do I have? Okay, oh, okay. yes. So, All right. <laughs> Dawn? Dawn, okay. it's your turn. Dawn turned over the dove card. Oh, the dove. And she's turning over the owl card. Well, she got two birds, but they don't match. So, <laughs> Dawn, you turn them back over mm -hmm. again. I like this game already. And... Now it's Carol's turn. She's going to turn one card over. She got the deer. Deer. And she's going for the, the lion. <gasps> the lion. She got the lion. Oh, do you, you don't remember where the lion was, yes, do I you? Do. Okay, now well, let's it's see. Earl's turn. Go, Earl. Oh, you're, 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 uh, and, 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 I, you want to turn this one over, yeah, turn yes, the lion and, card over, oh, and now on. Earl's trying to remember. This is a memory game. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah. And so it's not only good for children, but it's also good for seniors. And I citizens. can't peek, huh? No, no you, you can't, can't peek. Oh, come on. And if you miss it, oh. 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 what was that? He got the raven card. Oh, oh now well it's Don. Don's turn. That's my turn to... Don's turn, yes. Uh, that was nice You're of gonna you. You're going to hear Don me got the lion card. She wants to get this one. Shame on you. Okay. Okay, now, Don. I'm going to take my car and go home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have a rule that you have to read one of the Bible verses off of the card because each of the Bible verses teach us lessons on You didn't weddings. tell us in the beginning of the rules. Oh, uh, well, too uh, many I'm rules to, to remember. I glasses. might have to get my glasses. Yeah. Okay. Is he talking about me, the no. angel of God? No. The angel of God shut the lion's mouth and Daniel was saved. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> thank you. That's and probably mine. Okay, <laughs> now. Daniel 6.22. Okay, now you're allowed to pick again because you've got a match. Got a match. So I can pick any card again. Yeah. Yes. And you any keep two. them. You, you, keep. you yep. put those in okay. front of you and that's your score. Okay. All right, let's go down here. Eagle. 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 B. B. Nope, B. it's not a match. So turn them back over okay. again, and now Maybe it's will be Carol's not a match. Turn. Okay. Uh, oops, sorry. Sparrow. We've s Wait! Oh, sorry. Sparrow. Don't you pick. It's my well, Sparrow's he said, turn. I thought he said Earl. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm oh. getting excited. I ain't here right. Oh. That's all right. Eve. Eve. The Eve card. Nope, not, not a match. match. Okay, now it's Earl's yeah, turn. turn. Okay, I'm go here. Ow. Ooh, Ooh owl. Uh, this one? Yeah. Dear. Oh, dear me. Oh, That's dear not me. I can't, <laughs> can't take me no place. Okay. Owl. Wait a minute, was this it? No. Oh, you blew it. <laughs> I blew it. You blew it. It was the dove. Oh. Okay. Uh -oh. You just picked it, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. you blew it. I know. I remember. Well, good. Right. Shame oh. on you, mine. I knew oh. she got it. I knew she got it. Oh, man. Right, church, oh. That was a, that Okay, was a, she's going to read the Bible verse. I'm, if I can see it. I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. Psalm 10, no, 105, 8. Okay, you pick again. Oh. You go again. That was close. B. Didn't we just see the B? Never ceases to amaze me how people keep picking the same cards. Dove. Yeah, were dove. they trying to remember? Did you hear that, Dove? Dove. Where is okay. the other Dove? Where Girl, is the other B? We've seen them. Okay. <laughs> oh, good night. I thought I had the sheep. He yeah. thought he had the, the dove. dove. Now you gotta let us see it. Okay, I know it. Good night. Get lucky. Hornet. Hornet. Ooh. Oh, sheep and hornet. Oh, all right, Dawn. Oh, this is. Come on, look at it. She's almost remembering. No. Oh, no, that yeah. would be. Oh, Adam. Adam. <laughs> you gotta find Adam. All right. Adam, Adam. Where are you, Adam? Yeah. Locust. Where'd all these insects come from? <laughs> oh my goodness. Adam and Eve? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yep. 
Um, bear. We haven't we had bear before. The bear. <laughs> Chicken. Chicken. Chicken ain't mm. nothing but a bird. Okay, it's Earl. a rooster. Earl, go. We're going to have time to finish this game. <laughs> yeah. We always have time. What is this? Sheep? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Leave it, leave it up. Sheep. Hey, okay. Get, this uh, one? This one? Yeah. Oh. Raven. There's that raven oh, again. Oh, Dawn. Raven. Goodness. Dawn. Dawn's turn. Is that Dawn. raven somewhere over here? Somewhere over there, but, but that's not, not oh, that's there. That's a bee. Okay. That's it, though. Take that's a bee. A bee. I, don't worry. Be happy. Be happy. <laughs> Read the verse. You good, you. I can't get a hold of it, you. Yeah. Okay. Behold. Oh. <laughs> Samson found a swarm of bees and honey in the carcass of the lion. Okay. Now, that was interesting because he was the one that killed the lion in a previous story. And, and you've got came, the lion and then the Then he came back by <laughs> and he found the lion. He was hungry and the honey was inside the lion. Okay. So as we it's play this, turn, you oh. go again, Don. As we play this game, we have opportunity to talk about the stories and... The Lord God Ooh. card. You oh. get two more picks. All right. You good, you. Two more. Raven. Oh, my stars. Oh. Where was the raven? Oh. That wasn't it. Yeah, I can say. <laughs> what was you that? Tried. Okay, you, oh, you, you, now you guys have to close your eyes so she can hide the Lord God card. Oh, I have to close. You have to close <laughs> it down with one of the other cards. Okay. Trade that? What do you mean? Just put it somewhere else. Oh, just put it in here. And put the other card back where that was. Okay. Okay. Can I look? All right. Can, can we can we peekaboo? Yeah. Right. Oh, no, Carol's this turn. messed me all up. Yeah. <laughs> You talk about a memory game. Yes, this is a memory game. Oh, Sparrow two birds. and Dove. No, not close yeah. enough. Now, if you were playing Go Fish, that might work. Can you help me out? I'm flipping this one over. It's sheep. Sheep? You like that sheep. Yeah, I'm going to get lucky. Come on. Oh, bird. Dove. 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 Okay. <laughs> Where was the dove again? That was oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Locust. Uh, wait a minute, wasn't that the one I picked okay, up for? Okay, because so you can see how much fun it is. You know, you've got a whole room full of people playing these games uh -oh. and they're laughing raven. at each other. Uh, 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 raven. Okay, the locust was not a match with a raven. She's gonna get it. Unless I can turn him over. Thank for you. you. Help you out. Raven. Raven. Oh! You turned over the wrong card. Oh, she Carol. Just, <laughs> she just knew that she had to. All right, right Earl. All you right, find Earl. the raven. Stop cheating now. You're helping raven. somebody. You see what I mean? People are helping each other. Okay. Do well, don't one? help him that much. He's, no. he's reaching it. He said, let me help you. Oh. Not you can, yeah, you can help him. Oh, well, that was... No, you can't do another one. <laughs> well, that's raven. No, that wasn't it. Oh, that wasn't it? But that might be it. No, oh, no it's the dove. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Maybe the younger people have We better need a kid. <laughs> to remember better. All right, it's my turn. Yes, it's your turn. Oh, my goodness. Where did that raven go? <laughs> yeah, can, can you set time of all game? Birds look alike. Yes. Yeah, um, one of the ways we suggest raven. Oh, raven. in the rules. Where was it? Oh, thank you. got it. Okay. The that, raven brought Elijah bread and meat in the morning and in the evening. Oh. First Kings seventeen six. So that's why they love the raven. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, can, you can pick again. Oh, thank you. Pick again and and you. We're still looking for Adam. Oh, that sheep. Uh, keeps, uh, dove. Dove. Oh, there's the dove again. You dove. dove. Yeah. Dove. We saw the dove oh, around here. So, Earl, you were asking No, a wait, she, he has to play. He has right. to think. We wrote a rule book called the Official and Original Sunrose Book of Games. We yeah. sell it with every one of our decks of cards, and you can play 33 different games. And wow. so, in the rules, we suggest that you play until you get 66 points or you play for half an hour. So you can set your own time mm -hmm. if you want. You can say, we're going to play for this many so, yeah, minutes or we're going to play for this many points. Now you distracted Earl's concentration. Okay. No, he didn't, he didn't take that. Come on. Oh, right there. You got it. Oh, good. <laughs> we're going to go to a station break right on time. <laughs> and we'll be right back. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hollox is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364. 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate. At Complete Care Systems, we don't cut corners, we clean them. Hello, my name is Bob Canigliaro, VP Community Relations for Casper's company McDonald's. In 64 locations throughout Florida, we deliver great experiences in clean, beautiful restaurants. Our purpose is to serve and to generate happiness in every circle of influence of our business. This includes employee development and a community engagement with a high priority on education. Our service raises the quality of life for all of us. So the next time you visit our McDonald's, in addition to a great meal, you're helping us serve our community one smile at a time. Hi, I'm Bruce Kaufman, CEO of Sunrose, the Bible educational game company and game creator of Heroes and Sheroes. Heroes and Sheroes is a fun game about the history changing men and women of the Bible. Each colorful card is a different one of God's heroes and sheroes with information about that person. Play 33 different fun games with the Heroes and Sheroes card deck. Heroes and Sheroes is the most fun way to learn about the most important men and women of the Bible, God's heroes and sheroes. Visit our website, sunrosegames.com, and order your Heroes and Sheroes game now. And I'll ask you the Okay, we're again. back now. We, we, okay. We're having too much fun, y'all. Oh. I'm, I'm telling you. Come we are back. talking about All Christ. Right. That's right. We're talking and about it's, Christ. It's the battle of sexes here. It's oh, Earl yeah. and Bruce we, against we, you and I. Uncle oh, Bruce yeah. against the two young ladies. We're just uh, Okay, now here's, here's what we're going to play. We're going to play Who Am I Tic-Tac-Toe. Okay? okay. We've set the cards out on the table. There's nine cards. So <laughs> when it's your turn to go, you point to which card you want and then the other team will pick the card up, read some of the information off the card, and then our team, or their team, has to answer who that is, okay? okay? The first team to get three in a row wins, so it's like tic-tac-toe, right. all right? So um, let's start out with me asking the first question, so we'll let the ladies go first. They can ladies, pick whichever card they want. We want the one in the middle. All right, I figured Is that yeah. okay? Sure, yeah. go The one it. in the middle, don't look. And I'm gonna put my glasses on so that I can read the fine thank print. Thank you, thank you. And, okay, um, his father was Ammon, his mother was Jedidah, he was a king for 31 years. Oh. Um, he purged Judah and Israel of idolatry. Uh, he's in the anointed category in our Heroes and Sheroes deck, which means he was a king or a, or a prophet because they were both anointed by God. Uh, he repaired the temple. Uh, he found the law and restored it. Uh, he Am I supposed to raise my hand if I... Tell me who it is. Josiah. You got it right. Okay, so... You've played this game before. <laughs> okay. No, I just remember Joe. That's about the only king I remember. <laughs> except King okay. David. Oh, so, for the girls, we're going to put them up and down like this, and for the boys, we're going to put them sideways like that. So, for yeah. right now, we're going to do it that way. Okay. Earl, why don't you pick one for us boys, and Carol will read right us here. the information. No, oh, wait, Carol, Carol will? Yes, please. Carol, Carol. needs your glasses, Uncle Okay, Bruce. there you go. Yeah. Good. Well, at least you're going to learn how to read. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is too easy. Good. Uh, okay. She'll, she'll probably read some obscure bit of information. Yeah, I know. You leave out right. something on it. Um, Martha was concerning herself with cooking. This was her sister, Martha was. Her... Uh, 
this was Mary? Mary uh, Magma. Mary, who is the sister to Lazarus and Bethany? Right. Okay. It All was right. actually so, Mary, and I didn't see Martha at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it was the, the card that the Shiro's were, were Mary and Martha, the sisters of Lazarus, who Jesus raised from, right the, from dead. the dead. Okay. So you can see as you're playing this game, all of a sudden the information is starting to come out, mm -hmm. and you're learning as you're playing the game. So now it's the girl's turn to pick. Go, Don. Pick one. Okay. All oh. right. And this is a patriarch. Um, his father was Tara, his wife was Sarah, and he had a son named Isaac. Easy one. Um, he also had a son named Ishmael. You okay, can, Don. Oh, but, it's on the tip of my lip. <laughs> uh, on the tip of my yeah. tongue. Oh. She knows already. I know, I know that one. I'm glad okay, I got Carol, one. Okay, Carol, help us out. Who is it? Abraham. Amen. Abraham is That's right. right. So That's exactly what I was going to say. That's probably the only one I know. <laughs> All right. Father Abraham, I, well, I, All right. you know, the interesting thing, Earl, is you say that, but I'll tell you, you know a lot more people in here than you think you do. Okay. Because okay. right. of the clues and yeah, everything. And, and the neat thing about it is when we came up with the name Heroes and Sheroes, this was back in the late 70s, okay? okay. I didn't want to name the women heroin because I was going to law school and I was studying about all these drug charges and heroin was just a bad thing. You yeah, know? yeah, no, you and, didn't. And so we were we were using the S in front of the H E to kind of indicate he or she and I'm going, well that's a perfect way to spell she rose and mm -hmm. it rhymes with heroes. Mm -hmm. And you know, everybody loves Superman and Spider Man and all of that. And I'm going, but these are God's real heroes and she Amen. Mm -hmm. They did amazing things for the Lord and mm -hmm. he did amazing things through them. Well, if you look at games, period, they always say he instead of her or she. And and like you said, right. in the games that I had the good fortune of putting together, I, I did that too. He and right. she. Right. You know, and, and now, years later, you and I both meet he, and he, we're doing our TV shows together and we're talking about <laughs> she and he, We both created this he, word at about he, the same time. Yeah, you know? many years ago. <laughs> exactly. Like God well, gave us a revelation. Well, well, guess where, where that shero came in? My grandmother was my shero. Oh, See, yeah. that's where I, 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 I originally came up you with to God. You had a shero in your life. Yeah, she was a shero. All that's right. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to go here to block. So they're going to have to uh, hopefully. Oh, yeah, we can't let them have tic tac -tone. I could have your glasses. Yes, Again. Again. <laughs> but then. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. This shero. His husband was Lapidoth. Okay. Uh, she lived between Ra Ramah and Bethel in okay. Ephraim. Okay. Her occupation was a judge. Okay. She was also a prophetess. Okay. Uh, she okay, held court in, under a palm tree. Give me yeah. the letter, uh, Ruth. See if I. It yeah. starts with a D. Oh. She, it's a Shiro, and she was, the, I it's, think, one of the few women judges. Come on, get him, get him. Yeah. Deborah. Deborah, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I started thinking Esther and all the other names. So you blocked us. Yes. We, we were going to go tic-tac-toe, and That's you blocked right. us. Right, now it's that your wasn't very to play again. They knew you exactly got, what they were yeah, doing. Yeah, but you're in the center. you got loads of options here. Yeah, that's why she picked the I center. think we should go here. Okay. No, no. No, that would help you. I don't want to help you. Oh, oh you slipped. Yeah, I slipped. Come on, <laughs> What she really meant was... Yeah, what did I really meant? <laughs> <laughs> what did you mean, huh? <laughs> Come on, Don. Think long. Think. You know, you can, you can buy these games off of the sunrosegames.com website and mm -hmm. pay for them through PayPal. And yeah. We have to charge the shipping, and the United States Post Office needs to have be supplemented a little bit. But it's cheaper if you come to the Sunrose Bible Game Party on Friday That's night at the State Farm Office in Dun Dunedin. But Delta you didn't give no address. One 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 six four one one six four Belcher Road, Dunedin, at six p.m. on Friday, the twenty-first of September. Corner of Belcher Friday. and Main Street. Right. Yes, That's if you live local yeah. in okay, Florida. So okay. Our, <laughs> 
is it your turn? Oops. Oops. Okay, I didn't here see we go. It. I didn't see it. All right. Um, yeah. She was created by God, and her husband was Adam. She had three sons, Cain, Abel, and Seth. Are we supposed to answer Seth. this? Or yeah, no? whenever we. You mean, whenever you're ready. How about Eve? That is oh, Eve. Oh, I knew correct. you just. <laughs> Easy okay. one. Now, you know, sometimes you can do it like if you're playing with adults and kids, you can say that we're only going to give one clue to the adult, but we're going to read anything that the kid needs. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of handicap the game a little bit so older people can play with younger people or your pastor can play with, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and that's good. You, you did. At least I knew too. I, I knew that one. Thank you. Okay. She knew it right from the beginning, right? You did. We, not. we, have, to, we have to go here to block them again. Okay. There. Uh -oh. Glenn, Although I guess we should have gone there to block them there. You I can't think. go both places. Say so we're winding down, so. Uh, yeah. This is, his father was named Nun. His uh -huh. occupation was general or and judge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gideon. No. Okay, we're oh. gonna go to a station break, and we'll be right back. We'll That's put all a new right. Card right here. He he just. 